Well, there is, of course, a significant police presence uh, in the city centre there, as there always would be an armed response as well, who have attended this incident. Uh, we can confirm now through uh, Greater Manchester Police that five people have been stabbed and taken to hospital. Uh, police say they're keeping an open mind about the potential motivation, but they have confirmed to us now that the North West Counter Terrorism Command Unit, uh, based in Manchester, is leading this investigation while they try to determine the circumstances of what exactly happened here and what the potential motivation is. We know that there is a man in his 40s who has been arrested, detained at the scene. There are pictures circulating showing that man on the ground with officers uh, armed with taser uh, over uh, that man as they effect uh, an arrest. Uh, he has been taken into police custody now. Uh, it's very early on in this incident, so uh, understandable that uh, police are approaching this through an abundance of caution in terms of determining what the actual motivation is. Uh, they probably uh, have no real idea until they can get uh, a, a conversation, a chat with this man. And we don't know whether this man will be compliant with that, whether he will say anything to the police. Sometimes uh, individuals arrested in violent incidents like this just don't speak. So it takes a while for the police to dig into a background of an individual to be able to determine what the potential motivation was. But this is clearly a very serious incident that has unfolded at the Arndale Shopping Centre in Manchester City Centre. Uh, confirmation now from Greater Manchester Police that five people were stabbed uh, in this multiple stabbing attack. Uh, they have been treated at the scene, have been taken to hospital. We don't know at this stage just how serious any of those injuries are. Uh, again, it's early stages that will come in updates from Greater Manchester Police as they gather more information. But what you'll see now is a very significant emergency service response in the area. Uh, the uh, the casualties, those who have been injured, uh, are being or have been dealt with. So now it's really about securing the area, trying to determine uh, whether there are any other individuals that the police uh, need to control, uh, whether there are other suspects at large. Uh, again, they will have in their minds what has happened uh, in recent months and recent years in this country with terrorist attacks that have involved vehicles and suspects with knives. And if you look back to the likes of London Bridge, there wasn't just one suspect. There were three terrorists involved in that incident. It took a number of hours before police were fully satisfied that all of those who were involved in the attacks had been accounted for. It's likely uh, that uh, we, we will see a protracted police operation around the Arndale Centre uh, with those police reinforcements just checking the area, uh, checking CCTV, of course, speaking to eyewitnesses and making sure uh, and satisfying themselves that the one individual they have in custody, this man in his 40s, is the only suspect that they need to be concerned about. Uh, then they can get into what the potential motivation for uh, the actual attack was. But at this hour, Greater Manchester Police now confirming to us that five people have been stabbed in this incident and that the incident is being coordinated and led by the Counter-Terrorism Command for the North West, which is based in Manchester. The motivation, though, they say, still at this stage remains unknown, uh, but they are keeping an open mind.